Oh man, folks. <laughs> You see the smile on my face? I'm back at Jones Boys Boats here on beautiful Kootenai Lake, and we got a 2725 Kingfisher, brand new, new model, a 300 horsepower on the back there, Yamaha. Okay, if I'm looking a little excited, it's because I can't. This is me trying to be calm. All right, let's get another look at this great boat. Let's go. All right there, folks, this is what I'm so excited about, the Kingfisher 2725 XRS. We're talking heavy gauge welded aluminum boat with lots of space and lots of power. Check out that Yamaha 300 horsepower new V6 on there in matching white. Is this a good looking gorgeous boat or what? You know, we got some uh, pretty harsh wind going on here today. It's gonna show you some this boat in some rough conditions as we continue to take a look at this fabulous boat. And so, you know what? Less of me, more of the boat. Let's go. All right, starting off in our rear deck here. Easy access, easy entrance. Coming on through is piece of cake. I love that. And then you think, heck, we get to the side of the dock. We need an even better. Oh, look at that. Everyone come on through, no problem. Right at that level. Easy access to this big deck. Look at this, I'm six foot two and I've got nothing but headroom below this new top. So this top, it used to be a bimini top on here, and they've now made the entire cab higher so that this whole top, the whole entire roof can be extended back, giving us a good six foot four of headroom and giving us even more uh, storage space up here. Rocket launchers up there for your rods. What a nice setup. Of course, we got the rear helm steering. This is a wonderful place to drive your boat from, <laughs> especially if you put a kicker on there, heck. You're back here and you're fishing. You can just control, make some adjustments. It's absolutely perfect. I love the decking that they're putting on here. You guys notice this? It's all got the Kingfisher logos on it. It's dark. It's just beautiful. It's got a bit of cushion to it and a lot of grip. What a blessing that is. We've got a nice fish box here in the back. Up high now. Nice. I love that. Um, I love that you're not bending down to get at it. Plus, it gives you more electronics space in uh, down below here. Heading on in, like I said, you don't have to worry about headroom at all. And as we come down off of this self bailing deck, there is a bit of a step down. So you'll see that as I come through, or as I come out, I'm not hitting my head on there at all. Pretty sweet. All right, we're inside this nice cabin. Let's close the door. Whew, it's a windy day out there and I'm having a hard time with audio. So inside here, you should be able to hear me just fine. This should give you an idea of just how big and nice this cabin is. Look at me. Whoa. Bring the family along. That's what I'm saying. Beautifully designed chair. I love that the armrest gets up out of the way because you're going to hang out. You're going to be sitting around here talking to your friends, playing uh, cards on the table, untangling fishing lines, keeping an eye on the head. Oh man, this is a life, let me tell you comfortable what a nice helm look at the space they've given you here this one hasn't been outfitted yet but it's gonna be so way jones boys brings them in though they don't like to put all that stuff on right away because you get to choose let's sit you know what sounder do you want what size screen do you want what kind of co controls do you want on here they've gone ahead and put in the digital throttle controls on the 300 of course because who in the world wouldn't want that nobody that is absolutely perfect that motor's got a new Brand new electronic steering on it yet, too. No more hydraulic. Yamaha's doing this really neat thing. It's pretty cool. Steers great. I mean, I haven't had a lot of experience with it yet, but uh, it's great to see Yamaha staying ahead on technology like that. Boom, lead the way. What else you got to see? Look at this, stand up head. Here, take a look. And nice and tall again. Hey, tall guys. <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I'm busy. 
got curtains in there. <laughs> that is nice. And then when you're staying the night, you're going to want to turn this into a bed. you got a berth under there, which is another bed as well. Nice table here for uh, dining. And look at the galley that we got right here. The nice sink. we got a 20-gallon freshwater tank in there. we got a holding tank as well. That is nice. You got it all in a boat like this, let me tell you. They know that this is a dream boat that you're fulfilling. One of your greatest dreams and you're in that success level to buy a boat and have a boat like this. Good for you. Good for you. Good job. Let's go fishing. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Boating with Spencer. Anytime I get a chance to show you a boat this gorgeous, heck, any boat, you know me. I'm in love with boats. I'm in love with boating. If it's a 12-foot John boat or a 34-foot Kingfisher or <laughs> anything in between. You can count on me to try to get a ride in it and show it off to you. You want to take a look at this boat, you got to come on down to Jones Boys Boats on beautiful Kootenai Lake where test drives are open year round. No joke, that gorgeous lake never freezes over. You want to take Christmas holidays, come on down to Jones Boys. Grab a hotel, visit beautiful Caslow and Ainsworth, BC. Go boating and fishing. Take delivery of your boat right on Kootenai Lake. That's what I love about this place here, not to mention the great and friendly service. All right. Kingfisher, Jones Boys, Spencer, thanks for watching.